Chicken here, bring you another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, we're going to be talking about Battle Wars. It's going to be a little bit of a mini guide to it and uh, how to use it with Warriors and with Zookas. Um, but before we get into that, I want to give a big shout out to Zooka Academy. Uh, Zooka Academy is um, a part of Empire Business. That's a small uh, three task force family. They're all 50 mans. And they're set up just to, to teach players how to use Zookas and stuff. Um, the blue team runs dead end daily. doesn't require any boosting. Uh, it's meant to save powers, powders for the black team. The black team runs Forlorn Hope. Um, and there's they're 24 spots away from hitting the top 50 leaderboard. Spaces fill up quick on black and blue teams. So you want to be a part of the action. Join the red team until space is open and show them what you got. Remember, Empire Business. Check them out. Um, to get into this, download the app. It's called Telegram. And from Telegram, message at HB, uh, at HBerg official for more info. So big shout out to those guys. They helped me kind of with this guide. So uh, let's go ahead and just get right on into uh, to Battle Lord. So I got this up on the screen here. So level one uh, is going to be the 40% speed bonus and 50% damage bonus. Okay, guys. So we saw the stats just there for Battle Lord. So let's go ahead and take a look at um, a lot of you have been asking me. To post um, videos of how to use battle wars with warriors and I've kind of I've done it in and out a few times but uh, it, it is kind of tricky so basically the idea is you, you want to three smoke the HQ which you're gonna see here um, so as far as battle wars just in a general sense is concerned uh, battle wars are gonna be number one for condensed clearing and pull rushes uh, it's practically an extra troop damage uh, statue with a speed boost so the challenge is that brick walks faster than Zuka so you need to you need to break down long walks with shorter flares in order to keep all your troops together uh, this is especially hard with warriors to keep everyone all bunched up. Um, so you need to, so but personally use using warriors with uh, with uh, I personally use warriors with battle lords to clear my maps. Sometimes it's it's still kind of difficult. Um, basically, you need to stack the last three smokes, um, the last three smokes, uh, so she doesn't peek out way ahead of the warriors. Um, and that's kind of the idea, guys, is you just basically have to stack the, the smokes. Like you smoke the HQ, and then depending where Brick is, you smoke her um, as well behind that. So let's go ahead and take a, a take another look at uh, a replay from Hberg. So this is a guy to get in touch with on Telegram if you want to join the uh, Zook Academy and stuff. And it's really great. Um, it's a great bunch of guys, and they're really good at teaching Zookas and stuff. So... Uh, definitely check them out if you uh, if like if you want to take the game a little more seriously or even if you just want to join for a little bit and like learn some stuff and take it back to your task force like that's kind of what I've been doing um, just with talking to them it's just um, it, it, it's an easier way to uh, to just kind of learn um, without having to be in that task force for the like the whole time you're there I don't know, whatever you know what I mean um, so you see right there he gets uh, he, he, he gets brick up he gets the warriors up and you see, um, so the, okay, so this one was different. So he actually was able to um, to get the warriors on the HQ and then still use um, brick with the with the battle lords. So that's that's if you don't have as much GBE, you could do it that way. And that like in in that sense, you're gonna get half the warriors with the uh, with the battle lords boost on them. As a, if, if you don't have enough GBE to use three smokes, uh, that's a pretty good way of doing it. So we'll show one more replay here, and then we'll dive back on over into the chicken coop. And uh, we'll, we'll try it out for ourselves. I, I do have a full boost going, so it's going to be fairly interesting. So this should give us a, a fairly good idea here. Um, the, the biggest thing is just the smoke pattern. Like, you see how far back Brick stays when uh, when you're using Warriors? And, and right there, that's that's the big um, that's the big thing is to get the smokes. If, if you're going to do it like that, get the smokes as far back as possible. Um, and you have to tie them all together, so you really have to be quick with uh, with putting the smokes down. So you see right there, she gets about half the warriors, and the warriors under battlers are just like unbelievably strong. Like, it's just ridiculous. So, um, so that's gonna be it for the replay. So let's go ahead and dive on into Doctor Terrence and see what we can get done, guys. Okay, so we're back at home in the chicken coop, guys. So let's go ahead. We got the warriors trained up. Um, a bit of a disclaimer, I, I do have a full boost going, so uh, just keep that in mind um, for like in, in, in terms of the damage that we're going to be doing. Um, I did, I, I had to hit an operation before I jumped over to um, Empire Business Task Force, so um, we'll go ahead and try to see what we can do here. So you see the idea is to have your smokes timed um, at the back as, as the same time that they're on the building that you're flaring to. And here's what I like to do, guys. Here's what I like to do with um, with Brick. Is I like to smoke the HQ first. And then, okay, I screwed it up there. But um, 
Can we get her back under that smoke, please? Okay, so we kind of we, we, we kind of did. So you see there, we get the battle lords up nice and close, uh, and we can actually get all the warriors underneath it if we can get her that uh, that close. It's just hard because she stands so far back when you flare to something. Um, it, it's obviously gonna be a lot easier to to smoke her with the warriors onto the uh, onto the HQ the way that uh, Hberg was showing us um, by uh, by doing all the smokes in a really long run all at the same time. Um, so they all expire at the same time is the idea there, but I kind of like doing it so you flare next to the HQ and then right on it, and then it's kind of like a higher risk, I guess, but um, if you can get her right next to the HQ, then um, you're going to get all the warriors under the, uh, under the speed boost, which is just amazing. So uh, we'll go something like this. How do we want to do this chicken? We want to go um, like that. And I guess this is kind of the trick is because you can't flare to like beside an object you have to flare onto something if you're going to be using warriors um that's really the only way that it, it works um okay so flare the hq flare back here uh, i screwed that up i don't think i got close enough uh as long as once brick gets under that one smoke yeah it's just it's tough to get the timing down um but once you do it's it's just amazing to actually have it work um so we'll do something like that. You see, we get all the all the warriors up under there, and we're able to smash that down pretty pretty nicely. Um, again, I am running for boosted damage statues, so uh, it's not going to be as good as this, but still for stage um, for I don't know for Doctor Terrence Volcano, I guess it was a uh, uh, pretty good uh, amount of damage we did. So, anyways, um, we got stage six up here, so I'm going to keep trying um, to. Uh, smoke them up next to the HQ um, because I, I just want to be able to show you guys that you can get all of them together um, under the under the battle orders um, under the, uh, you can get all the warriors with it so uh, let's go ahead and do something like this and then we'll launch all the warriors out like that because we we basically the idea is you want the the smoke to expire on the warriors first before it expires on brick Something like that, I don't know. We kind of screwed that up. Um, okay, if Brick can stay tight there, then we might be okay. And then from here, I want to smoke onto that. And then hopefully in that smoke, we can keep the warriors kind of uh, sucked in towards the HQ. And basically, as soon as Brick gets under that um, under that first smoke, then you're going to be golden. Um, we actually lost her in that raid, so that's too bad. But... Uh, uh, hopefully we can we can show you guys a better uh, <clears throat> a better way to do it on stage seven. It is tough. It is tough. Like I'm sure some of you out there are a lot better at it than me, but uh, it, it's definitely tricky. But I mean, once you get the hang of it, it's just like anything else, right? It's just because it's a new strategy. Like if I was trying out Zookas for the first time right now, like I, it would be it would be just as bad as this is going. So um, let's go ahead and see what stage seven has in store for the chicken guys. Um, all right, so not a horrible looking layout, I guess. Um, for longer runs, it's going to be a lot more difficult to do this. Um, basically, like the ideal, the ideal base would have um, a beached HQ. Uh, that would probably be the best. Um, so let's go ahead and do something like this. Um, so definitely let me know down in the comments if you guys have a better way of um, of kind of doing this. Okay, I did not. I missed that flare. That's okay. That's okay. And then we want to flare up over here. And I think we just barely caught Brick in there. So you see how I put the smokes ahead of where we're going first. So then it keeps um, it keeps uh, Brick in a little better timing than uh, with the Warriors. Uh, okay, so we're going to flare up here next. Uh, damn it. Okay, so I lost Brick there. Hmm. Well, we, we, you know you know the idea. You know what I was trying to do, guys. Uh, unfortunately, we weren't able to get her onto Stage 7 with us. But um, I don't know. That's kind of how I like to use her. Um... If you guys have better ways of doing it, definitely let me know down in the comments. Um, oh no, there, there goes stage 7 with, with full boost. That would have been a nightmare trying to do it unboosted. Um, so I guess it's a good thing that we had to hit that operation first. So before we wrap this up, guys, before we wrap this up, I gotta show you this operation hit that, that uh, the chicken and voodoo just had. It was just crazy. We got voodoo back in the task force. Everyone's excited. Um, out of the way, Johnny. So we'll, we'll quickly show you this, guys. Um, this was a monster attack by voodoo. Um, this was just crazy like I had no idea what to do here the uh, the beast mode 
had the note as uh, going team as left, and then uh, I guess Voodoo had the idea that it was going to be a lot better with Zookas, and it, it turned out to be... He uses up all the all the time here, but I think it's worth showing. Uh, we'll do the whole thing at 4 speed, but uh, you see he gets up here. He, he takes out... Um, he collects a little bit of GBE on the way up, and then he's able to shock all this stuff in one go. And you see, he doesn't take brick with him or anything because it would just be it would just be too difficult to to bring her along for the ride here. And he's able to clear out everything. He gets all the shield gens, and I think the shield was like just over six million. So it was going to be really tough to just rush the core or to take out the rock launchers on the right side. It was probably going to take two attacks to do it that way. It still ended up taking two attacks. But you see here, he actually goes for the solo after all this. Um, if he had a, if he had a mass amount of GBE, like if he took more cells and had like maybe a minute longer, he probably could have done it. But um, that was a that was a pretty crazy attack to see. So big shout out to Voodoo. And then we got uh, the chicken going in on uh, the cleanup brigade, and this was crazy just for the fact of how much GBE I had. Um, I cleared out all of these cells here, and I brought Brick along with me just because I figured it would be easy enough to uh, to get her to come along for the ride. Uh, because there's no defenses or anything, so I, it was just like smoking uh, with her, so it wasn't that difficult. So, right at this point, I cleared out a few of these cells. I had 272 GB, which is just crazy. Um, so we get onto the core, and then we do the classic, what was it? I almost lost Brick there, but we do... I, I'm gonna slow it down just so we can see all the shocks. Um, I think I had 9 shocks, so... Uh, we'll be able to count them out right here, so... What do we got? 1... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight shocks. Okay, so the classic eight shock finish, guys. So let me know what you think of using Battle Wars with Warriors down below in the comments, guys. Um, is there a better way to do it? Um, let me know all that down in the comments. That's going to wrap it up the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. And we'll see you in the next one, guys. Chicken out. That's a quick reminder, guys. If you visit patreon.com backslash the chicken for $1 a month, you can get your name in the chicken banner for the duration of the month. And for $2 a month, you become a super chicken and you can get your name in the banner. Plus, uh, you get to write your own personal message.